I think it's pretty safe to say that the biggest highlight of the Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker teaser trailer was of course the laughter of Emperor Palpatine at the very end of the footage, not just because it really created a lot, a lot of questions and conversations between Star Wars fans, but also because it was the return of a legacy character from the originals and the prequel trilogy that is now going to be a part of Episode 9. This is Mike Zero, if you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, what's really interesting about Episode 9 is that we do know that J.J. Abrams confirmed a couple of weeks ago that Palpatine is going to be very prominent and significant in this story. And especially, you know, this character is going to be used, in a sense, in order to really create both characters, Kylo Ren and Rey, in order to force themselves to really have these interactions between each other and to team up and take on a greater threat that is going to be in Episode 9. There is going to be a new villain in this movie. Now, these past couple of weeks so we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions. This is where things begin to get very intriguing and exciting for episode 9. Now specifically, a description of Rey inside the wreckage of a certain ship and or space station, where it's described that Rey is wearing a white outfit and is wielding her ignited lightsaber after hearing an eerie laugh in the distance that is described to be the laughter of Emperor Palpatine. It's said that one of the sequences involves Rey witnessing a red, transparent cloud cloud of some kind that is floating above the wreckage toward the top where the Palpatine laughter is coming from, where the scene is described as Rey's encounter with the spirit of Sidious. The next goes over Rey walking through the wreckage in fear, where thunder can be heard in the background as Palpatine's laughter continues, where eventually a hand touches her shoulder, where she turns around to witness the character known as the Dark Acolyte, wearing a black cloak and a hood, where the red cloud eventually fuses into the body of the Dark Acolyte. It's described that Rey falls on the ground from being frightened and crawls her way backward toward a wall as the character warns her of a great threat toward Kylo Ren, where the character is said to wave his hand over Rey, where she is knocked unconscious, similar to what Kylo Ren did to Rey on Takadana in The Force Awakens, where the villain and Palpatine walk away. So I want to go over a couple of parts about this because this is huge. Now, we do know that Palpatine is going to be very big in this movie, especially within the second and third acts of the movie. Now, for the longest time, we've been trying to figure out exactly what's going on with the new villain known as the Dark Acolyte. So, I want to go over the wreckage here. Exactly where is Rey? Well, I have a pretty good, you know, hunch here that this is going to be based within the Death Star 2 wreckage since we got to see that in the teaser trailer. I'm pretty certain that's exactly where Rey is at this point in time since she is here in the laughter of Emperor Palpatine and witnesses a red transparent cloud that is actually described to be the spirit of Sidious, though not in the shape of a human, but in the shape of just an abstract cloud. So that's a very interesting, you know, idea that J.J. Abrams is trying to come up here from what it seems, is the spirit of Sidious is actually going to be used in this particular scene that eventually fuses with the body of the Dark Acolyte, where the Dark Acolyte places his hand on top of Rey's shoulder, where she's, you know, placed in fear, and she's crawling backwards, where this character, that is now fused with the spirit of Sidious is making a threat against Kylo Ren and is using Rey as a messenger, if you will, to direct that message over to Kylo. So this also falls directly in line with what we went over a couple of weeks ago about the new villain stating to Kylo Ren that he was trying to really mentally connect with Kylo Ren for years and was unsuccessful. Trying to really add in a lot of these different twists and turns that are really going to make us view Palpatine in a different way. So going by this, from what it seems, it's not a young clone of Palpatine that's going to be in Episode 9. It's not going to be a younger version of Palpatine or Palpatine himself resurrected. From what it seems, it's literally going to be the spirit of Sidious actually taking over the body of the Dark Acolyte. But at the same exact time, the Dark Acolyte is pr pretty much, you know, the new villain still but is being basically operated by the Spear of Sidious. And that to me sounds like a very interesting and new take on what they took from Dark Empire and creating it into something of their own. Now, would I rather them just create a young version of Palpatine where we get to see a literal version of Palpatine appearance-wise, where we've never seen that before? over this whole entire scenario, I'm not quite sure. I'm a little drawn in between here because this honestly sounds like a very good attempt at bringing Palpatine back to life in a very specific and unique way. Now, in case you guys did not know, for the longest time, 
George Lucas never believed in, you know, force ghosts affiliated with Sith Lords or spirits, whatever have you. And that was lightly touched on in Legends and stuff around those lines, you know, with the use of Essence Transfer. You're technically, you know, in the form of some kind of being that's transferring into another mind. So, though, keep in mind that this is not Essence Transfer, this is described to be the spirit of Sidious actually fusing with the Dark Acolyte's body and actually being able to talk to Rey. And the spirit of Sidious is actually described to be this red transparent abstract cloud that actually is hovering and or floating above in the wreckage of whatever this, you know, place really is. It very well might be the Death Star 2 wreckage. So anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.